Hi guys, welcome to our next vlog. As we said last time, we did actually go and eat in Italy, where you can see a wide range of food from Italy. We actually went for the pasta offering, and you'll be able to see what our review was on that. So sit back and enjoy. How cool is that, the fact that you could see the pasta being freshly made? We thought that was pretty cool, so we thought you guys would like that too. Now, if you have seen some of our other vlogs, you'll know that we absolutely love Nutella crepes. But unfortunately, like a lot of things in Las Vegas, post-pandemic, this station was actually closed. So, although it was closed for us, hopefully it'll be open for you during your trip. One of the other stalls they had a roast dinner offering where you could get vegetables, roast potatoes and a meat option for $50. Now if you think a roast dinner is worth $50, fill your boots. If not, you might want to try one of their sandwiches. Dick Lauren, I haven't tried it yet. Does it taste like spaghetti bolognese? Yeah, it's like um, a lasagna but without the cream cheese. Oh, nice. Because like, the, the tang latelli is so thin. That's really nice. That's I don't think it's worth $26, like I said, we're talking like almost £26, but, you know, it's something different to eat here, because all we've had is literally burgers and chicken, so to have like, an alternative, yeah, like yeah. a pasta, that in itself I guess is worth the $26, yeah, yeah. So what are you saying, sir? Right, my turn now, I'll tell you whether I think it's worth $30, well. <laughs> Let me get some of the meat on it. It is, it is, it is really nice. I don't think it's worth thirty dollars. I think it's on par with all-inclusive food, no. and that's me being honest. It is. The sauce is very mediocre. When I compare it to somewhere where I go, like Prezzo's, I have like a penna rusticana, and it comes with chicken, and it comes with peppers, and it comes with bacon lard and it's flowing with pasta and sauce that type of dish it, it's super tasty now this is tasty but it's not like quite bland it's quite it's bland ideal for me yeah it's ideal for you but it's nothing like anything amazing that I've no. never not had before I'd say it's worth about $15 yeah that's me being generous I don't yeah. think it's worth $30 but if you like us you're wanting something different then you'll pay it because <laughs> your body's craving pasta True. <laughs> so yeah that was our review on the pasta I personally don't rate it definitely not the best spaghetti bolognese that I've ever had it wasn't packed with flavor it didn't have a bit of a punch but as we said it did cure that pasta craving that we had so if you are looking for pasta then head to here and as I've just shown you there was many other offerings like pizza meat options so yeah if you're looking for something from Italy then head to Italy
flat on the top. That's Bacardi. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You might want to drink it before it becomes just water. <laughs> the best strawberry daiquiris, the Mirage. They're massive as well, aren't they? Though? Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. So as you can tell by this video, the Park MGM has many pools that you can choose from. This was actually our favourite one. It was close to the bar so we were able to get our strawberry daiquiris and as you know by now, we love a strawberry daiquiri. It does get rather hot so we actually went on the lounges in the pool. Now a little top tip from Lauren would be to wet the lounger first otherwise it is rather hot on your back. But yeah, we just went into the pool area with our strawberry daiquiris and we really enjoyed our time there. Another thing that was great about here, the music was update and current. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit fresher, a little bit up to date, then check out the Park MGM. Hiya, so we've just got ready. We're about to go over to STK for my 30th birthday meal. And we're really looking forward to it. Jo Lauren's been raving on about the Philip Mignon ever <laughs> since she went on the Virgin Cruise. So I've got high expectations for this Philip Mignon, but it'll be actually really nice to go and sit down and have a meal because most of the time we've been here we've been going having quick service haven't we yeah which fine that suits us down to the ground but i think we're ready now for something a little bit more upmarket like a steak <laughs> yeah and there's like a nice dj vibe it's in yeah. the cosmopolitan hotel it's a really nice hotel yeah. we're just waiting for our uber now to come and collect us and then we're going to venture over to another bar afterwards because yeah. we want to go over to is it candy martini yeah Candy martini, and you should see the size of these cocktails. <laughs> yeah. It's like a pick a mix and a drink all in one. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. And we're also then going to head over to Ghirardelli. Yes. Because we want to go and get some ice cream from there for dessert. Yeah. So yeah, we're really looking forward to tonight. Obviously, going to have another bit. We'll be in Vegas if we're not going to have a bit. <laughs> we're loving Tada Panda. That's our favourite go to one. There's only one, and that's in the Mirage Hotel. We haven't seen that in <laughs> any of the other hotels, but. Yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Is there anything else you think we'll probably do today? Um, I suppose we'll just see what, if there's the Sky Bar in the ward or the story, or if that's open by the time we get round yeah. to doing it all. We'll see. Yeah, it'll be really good. Here's our Uber. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> So the Uber was great as usual, very good. We got dropped off at the Cosmopolitan Hotel, which is where STK is located if you're thinking of visiting. Yeah, look at like all the detail, like even on the wall. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love this hotel. Oh, it's stunning. <laughs> I'm showing them you. Mrs. Sarah all dressed up to celebrate oh, her 30th. It's not a new outfit. Again, if you've watched me, you knew I had this outfit on the cruise. <laughs> um, but you like what you like, don't you? It's comfort, save the planet. <laughs> it. We plow our money into our holidays, don't yeah. we? Yeah. This was the garlic butter tear and share bread. It was very garlicky, so if you love garlic, you're gonna love this. For our main, we went for the 10 ounce fillet mignon, and it come with a side of red wine gravy, which I absolutely love, or you may know it as red wine juice. One thing that was on everyone's table was the Parmesan truffle fries. They look super yummy, look at them. But the star of the show had to be the creamy mash. It was so yummy. 
yummy 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 love the steak and love the creamy mash Now I have to hand it to Lauren, the filet mignon steak was very nice. We did go for well done but next time I would go for medium well. Let me know in the comments how you have your steak. When Laura made the booking for STK, she did tell them that it was my birthday, so this was a really nice surprise. They brought out a plate that said happy birthday with macaroons, some mousse, some ice cream and some brownie, and it was a really nice touch to the trip. If we was to go STK again, we would probably order everything that we ordered last time. It was absolutely delicious. As you can tell via this vlog, the chandelier bar is very noisy and I wanted to leave that in there because I think it's really important that you know what you're getting yourself into. But it has a really good vibe, it's absolutely beautiful, it's on three different tiers. I personally like the top tier of this chandelier bar, so if you're looking for a nice drink in a really nice location, head to the chandelier bar. What have you gone for Lauren? French martini! Shocker! <laughs> Even I've gone for a French martini! It's my go to! Safe. They are really nice. It's, yeah. it's a safe option, you know, us nice and safe. But how incredible is this? There's like three levels to this as well. We've just been on the bottom tier. The vibe's not as great. We the middle tier's all right, but I would highly recommend going to the top tier because look, you're literally in the chandelier, <laughs> and you get to see this behind the bar. I wouldn't mind that in my living room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> half a glass. <laughs> well, it's half the price. What, then STK? 32.51 for two. Okay, how much did we pay in STK? Right, okay, fair enough. Kind of. Kind of. Are you enjoying your birthday? Yeah, it's really nice. Just enjoying going from bar to bar. Yeah. Um, you won't be able to hear me because it's too too um, loud in here. No, you can hear. Really? Yeah. How's that tasting? Oh, this one's more raspberry. Oh, nice. So it's quite nice, yeah. It's not as pineapple as so I'm strip or you can do the the drinks. bar option yeah. yeah we looked into the bar option and when we watched a lot of vloggers they said you were getting on average three to four drinks on there I'm a bit of a lightweight so <laughs> I have to stagger myself a little bit but I, I think if you're someone that is looking for a drink it's worth it because like Lauren just said she's just paid 42 dollars just for these two drinks so as long as you know during the half an hour you're gonna have more than two to three drinks It'll be well worth your while. But yeah, enjoy my birthday. Cheers, happy birthday. Cheers. <laughs> Next up, we visited Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Garden. It's currently the summer season. As the seasons change, so does the displays. Can you believe they're very talented Horticulture and engineering teams transform 14,000 square foot of the botanical gardens to showcase the inspiring sights, sounds, scents and colours. It truly is amazing. I'd really recommend everyone visit this.
and of course you can't go to the Bellagio Hotel without visiting the Bellagio Fountains. Sit back and enjoy. Thank you.